Welcome back to my Let's Play for Pokemon Silver, my mono flying run. That's once again to take on our rival, as well as deal with the rest of the trainers down here, you know? Mostly a bunch of rocky goons, which means this is gonna be rather tedious, let's face it. Uh, most of the rocket members are not gonna be a real threat to us. Not by a long shot, but they will eat up a lot of time to deal with. There's just no getting around that. But we're gonna have to deal with them all the same. Okay, time for a Thunder Punch. We'll blow past the slow pokes, take care of the next guy who's got four Pokemon, which means he's extra tedious because they're all equally weak because you're meant to take them on, you know, much earlier on in the game. But I always bypass these people because, you know, I'm just like that. I don't bother with the underground tunnel until I have to go in it. Um, well, those people probably would have hidden up earlier in the game and gotten access to the haircuts and stuff, which admittedly would help me when it comes to bat the bit right now. Though I might just take off that item, to be honest. Because I'm getting tired of how much um, extra time I was on just getting the experience that way. Plus, I'm not close to a level up yet, so... Let's, um... Take the item away. And if we're gonna have to have it on somebody... Which may be dumb, but... Let's put it on Kenya. I like to level him up and get Drill Peck as soon as possible, and he levels faster, so let's do that. Yeah, I do. Though I probably should have switched over to Skull Kraken for this battle. After all, I could just hit him all with Dragon Rage and just be done with it real quick. I mean, it doesn't care about still typing or anything. It's just like 40 damage across the board. And at these low levels, they're not going to have enough health to survive anyway. Well, I guess we'll go with um, Thunder Punch. Hopefully, the 20 level advantage will allow us to knock it out anyway. And it's good. Okay. Of course, even boosted this experience is gonna be crap, but hey. It's better than nothing. <sighs> and I'm sure it'll come more in handy when we have to fight the real opponent here. Our rival. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We'll go with Dragon Rage, like I said. It's not my favorite move, but... It'll work well enough here, so we'll go with it. Probably gonna wish I didn't take that break to stop and eat some sandwiches and get some chips, but after recording the first four episodes tonight, which I haven't published at this point while I'm recording this yet, but I honestly just need to take a break from Pokemon because it was just dragging on a lot longer than I wanted to. By the time I stopped, I'd basically worked, you know, for three hours and only gotten, like, four videos done. Um, so yeah. This has not been a fast night when it comes to getting uploads done tonight. Which is really annoying. I was hoping I'd be done a heck of a lot faster than I was. Um, but I forgot how long it takes to get through all these Team Rocket members that just... They just add on so much time having to deal with them, you know? It's just, like, crazy. Like, I'm just starting to deal with just these two, like, it's going to end up basically taking the better part of, like, four minutes. And it's going to be like that, basically, no matter what trainer I go to, it's going to eat up way more time than they deserve. I'm almost better off letting Kenya probably evolve anyway. Um, but if he evolves, I can't learn Drill Peck as early. I'll be, I still have to get him up to, like, level 40 to learn it or something crazy like that. Yeah, I'll leave... Lady in up front for taking on Golbat. I don't expect it to win. I really don't. I suspect it's going to get taken out early on in the fight. But it'll allow me to set up a reflect barrier at least for a little bit. Though he'll probably go with a special attacker afterwards, knowing my luck. But hey. At least it will um, let me get somewhat close to taking out Golbat. Maybe. <laughs> That's not much damage wing attack does. Well, great. Even with that barrier up, it still did a lot of damage. Darn. Um, Ice Punch. I guess we can hope we get lucky and freeze it. If we do that, I can still win. 
Otherwise, it's probably going to be over after this. Hang on by the skin of our teeth. Ah, uh, no. F oh, it did get frozen. Damn. Yeah, take that. You're frozen solid. Go, Lady of Doom. Pulling that went out by the skin of her teeth. Fear my icy fist of doom. Though, obviously, that's not going to pull us through any longer than it has at this point. And yeah, we're going to go for um, sleep, then trying to switch over to Pidge for a mud slap victory. Oh, good, it worked. If that hadn't worked on the first shot, I would have been screwed. And I'm still hoping it doesn't wake up. I mean, if it does that, I'm going to be in a hard spot real fast. Um, but yeah, hopefully it just, you know, stays dreaming. Yeah, you stay asleep, Magnemite. I guess I can hope for a critical hit or cross my fingers. Oh, good. It didn't wake up. Excellent. That means I can take it down without being stopped. It's great. I prefer it that way. Oh, what's he gonna follow up with next? Sneasel, maybe? Huh. It's only got something left, after all. Haunter? Okay. I'm um, we'll switch. Here it comes. Curse. Called it. Oh, let's switch back before he has a chance to mean look me. <laughs> oh, it did it again. Oh, it took itself out. Thanks, Haunter. <laughs> you did me a solid. <laughs> Well, I may or may not stop Kenya's evolution. I honestly don't know. Okay. Sneasel, eh? Well, since that Pokemon's curse, we're going to want to switch out. Sneasel's a uh, rock ice type, so I suppose I can technically throw water at it for neutral damage. Um, I don't have any fighting attacks. I don't think Venus is fast enough to have really beat in a speed contest, so I guess I'll send out skull cracking and try and break its head open. Go with a surf attack. Ow, a screech. Not a bad idea. Though mostly it uses faint attacks, so screech may not help it. Darn it, that didn't do much damage. Oh, it's using quick attack, huh? Interesting pick. Try Dragon Rage. Oh, about the same. Yeah, I should use Thrash, but its rock typing would probably get in the way of that. Oh, that leaves Quill Lava now, I suppose. Which actually would be vulnerable to my Surf attacks, but I'm taking so many Screeches, I don't want to keep it out there right now. I mean, I'm down four defense stages, so if it has any physical attacks, it could really open up a can of whoop butt on me. I mean, we all know what I really wanted to go for, but I try to avoid swearing as much as possible around here, you know? Um, I guess we can always go with the old mud slap strategy. Or just try and kill it with wing attacks. I'll go with mud slap. Try and lower its accuracy a little bit. Oh, it's trying to return the favor, huh? That's cool. We both have the same idea, huh? And I'm not dodging that, darn it. Well, I've had better days. But at least I'm not as screwed as Quill cool Lava is. Okay. Ooh, level 25, huh? Pursuit, huh? Oh, I guess I can make room for Pursuit. 
Oh, I'm screw Growl. I'll take Pursuit. Though Pursuit's not even gonna really help out Sparrow. I mean, if it was a physical attack, it'd be alright, but... Gosh darn, it's not gonna help out uh, Sparrow. He's just probably more physical attacks. <sighs> no, we'll, we'll leave you alone, Kenya. You can stay a Sparrow for now. You don't have to understand. Just know you lost and move on with your life, man. Seriously. I've got other things to do. Like, um... Figure out how bad, is it gonna, how bad I'm gonna feel when I catch a Skarmory and have to use a Master Ball to do it. Stuff like that. Or the fact I'm gonna have to make my way back up there all over again. Then again, I do have Fly on Kenya, so it won't be too bad. Um, who do I want to put up front? You know what? I'll let Pidge lead for now. That way I can rack up some more experience. Sure, if I read the experience share, I'd probably be able to reach um, Pidgeot levels by the end of this, maybe, but you know what? I'd rather just keep letting Kenya get the experience so I can hopefully get um, useful again at some point. <sighs> I'm still not sure what my um, Claire strategy is going to be at this point. Um. After all, I don't have any ice users here. So I can't, you know, drop ice beam or something. Which would actually terrorize my opponent if I could do it. Um. I may just have to rely on sheer power from, like, Gyarados' thrash attacks or something. Or try and get boosted strength and speed wise early on and just heal myself. Which is gonna make me wish I had Dragon Dance, I suppose. Though I don't think that move exists yet. Darn it. But it'd definitely help out if I did have it. Just being able to buff your speed's always useful. Great, it's gonna last at least one more round then. So I'm not gonna have enough power to bust through its health, just barely. What's with these mugs using pounds anyway? Like. Don't any of them know, like, Sludge or Sludge Bomb? Or Toxic? Okay, that'd be an odd pick, you know, considering we're not at a gym or anything, but still. It's sort of odd how they constantly spam Pound after dropping, you know, Harden or something. Like, use an attack that hurts more, you know? You got the stats for it. Or at least you should have the moves for it. Great, mild damage with a decent chance for poisoning. I did not want that. Well, at least it didn't poison me. That's a change of pace. I'm so used to poison sticking whenever an opponent uses poison types moves, you know? It happens way too often. Now I'm Ratata. I'll go for it. Hopefully that takes care of it. I mean, it took care of the other one that was level 27, after all, so... Yeah. Eh, uh, just a bit more. And we'll be level 35. Indecision, eh? Yeah, that's definitely a killer on the battlefield. You can't afford to be indecisive, man. Trust me, I know, from playing, like, RTSs and stuff, you're too indecisive, you'll get crushed while you're thinking about making your next move. It's a horrible way to go, you know? Okay, what we got here? More coughings? Not great. Which probably means more smog attacks. They don't hurt that bad, but still, it's the principle of the thing, you know? I just get tired of seeing them. Oh, it went with sludge, huh? <sighs> really wants to get that poison off. And with a decent move to boot, why not? Okay. One more level. Then Pidge can evolve. I can't think of a good reason not to evolve Pidgeo into a Pidgeot, to be honest. It's just time, you know? I need that additional power somewhat. Ah, great. It's gonna do that pound strategy again, or is it actually gonna use sludge like coughing did? Or will it be more annoying and start trying to minimize itself? 
Nope, sticking with Pound. Gosh darn you, Muck. Just go away now. <laughs> I wish I had that sweet boosted experience. It wants to evolve. I'm not letting it just yet. Jeez. This is going to take a lot longer than I thought it would. This race is going to take me about half an hour to finish this episode. Gosh darn it. And the A-Team went by so much faster. Which is pretty messed up, since, you know, these Pokemon have some evolution zombies, so they should be overall stronger. I guess they just don't have as effective coverage, though. That's the problem. Most of the Bay Pokemon can get in fights where they have an obvious type advantage. So they can quickly blow an opponent away with super effective damage. That's not so much the case here for this team. They don't have that. Sure, I could have used um, Skullcrack and Surf against this thing, but... Ugh. I want to try and push level 36 here. Great, my bird's on fire! Okay. I'm gonna have to bust out a healing item at some point, aren't I? Kinda messed up. Yeah, do your worst. Use your coughing. Well, if we get lucky, we'll critical hit it, so I can just blow it away in one move. Though luck has not been my side tonight, has it? <sighs> that ought to finish it, at least. Okay, Pidge gets another level. And Eddie was defeated, yeah. Just, just give me the money. Seriously. Uh, let's see. Um, I do have a super potion. But I think I need the power of a hyper potion here. Okay. Hmm. I guess against Claire, I could pull out, um, Lay of Doom and try and power my way through with Ice Punch. I have my doubts to how successful it would be, though. A lot of her Pokemon have moves like Ice and Thunder Attack, so they can pretty much tear Lady in a new one. Far more effectively than Lady can tear them a new one, you know? Um, my best bet may end up being, um, letting Skull cracking out. Yeah, I know, I'm still thinking about it in the back of my mind. And I probably brought it up earlier, too, but just floating back there pretty persistent, like, what am I gonna do when I get to Claire? Because Dragon-type resists a heck of a lot of moves, man. It's really annoying. And it's understandable why it's restricted so much early on, because, you know, they, they're sort of like Steel-type early on. There's so much that they can basically nerf that it's hard to get around them sometimes. Well, at least the next target has Gloom, so they'll be easier to deal with. Ooh, 666, eh? Well, Kenya's evil. Confirmed. It has the mark of the beast. <laughs> That's really weird, man. I don't look at that thing and think, you know, pure evil, but it's got the mark, so it must be. Um, let's see. Go with quick attack. I don't want to waste another wing attack on that thing. I really don't. Okay. Well, if you drop the zero, that was the magic number. 42 is the answer to life, the universe, and everything, man. Or so they say. Of course it stopped evolving. I don't want it to yet. Okay, get the full heal and keep moving on. <sighs> well, for this, there's still three more battles. Three more battles! Yeah, I'm not looking forward to it. Aw, oh, man. At least this one should be an easy matchup. <sighs> Come on, Pidge. Knock him around. You can do it. 
And that's one down. Five twenty-eight, huh? Weird. That's my house number. Yep. Five twenty-eight. Well, let's take care of the next gloom and move on, I guess. We're into a lot of odd numbers tonight, I swear. But I suppose you can think of references to a lot of numbers if you really sit down and think about it. Well, we're done. Oh wait, that just resets the doors. Which I really don't need to do right now. Sometimes I like the hit because I'm like, oh, it unlocks the next door. Like, no, that's not what's there for. You don't show mercy to anyone, huh? It's good to know, but I don't need your mercy. I'm stronger than you. By a large margin, trust me. <sighs> so much so, this fight is just boring to me, man. Oh, a tail whip, huh? You're not the only one that can use tail whip. Okay, I don't have a Pokemon that can do it in this run right now, but hey. I haven't had one in others. Ooh, another level for Kenya. Why not? Golbat, eh? Oh, I'll let Leia Doom out early. It's not gonna win. I need to land a lucky freeze again for that to happen. And I don't see that happening. Oh, it did! Lay of Doom's apparently bringing the ice from the depths of the netherworld or something. I mean, two freezes in one night? Crazy. Huh. Well, that takes care of that. Blast it. I was defeated by a freaking ladybug. I'm so embarrassed. Better not tell the boss about this, or I'll never live it down. He won't let me live it down. Yeah, I don't think I would either if you lost to a lady, and seriously. That's just an embarrassing way to go out, man. Okay, which one were you again? Or were you the guy I skipped over at the hideout that was guarding that one stairwell? And I just walked calmly around you. Out of your line of sight, you know, and making loud, loudest footsteps possible, but you can't turn, because, you know, you're stuck that way. <sighs> Still got one more battle after this one. So, Grimer knows Sludge, but Muck doesn't? Why not? <sighs> if I try to figure this out, I'll probably end up having a brain aneurysm. All I should worry about, I guess, is getting that extra little bit of experience so I can finally evolve, right? Okay. Mud slap. Not sure how much that's gonna help, though. Tarn, I guess I should have with wing attack. Probably would have knocked it out. They're having some bad luck to poison me right now. I'm surprised. Ooh, another critical hit. Damn. Pidge was on fire there. Okay. You know, laugh all you want, man. I just don't care anymore. I just don't know why you'd laugh at your own defeat. And yeah, I'll probably be lazy and I actually update my photo until the next episode, to be honest. I mean, we're almost at the end of this one. And it's more work than it's worth. Plus, I may have to resort everyone in order to fit them properly afterwards. Oh, you're gonna dispose of me. You and what army? I really wanna know. Because as far as I can tell, you got the power of nothing on your side. Seriously, now times you multiply it, zero power is still zero power, man. Uh, 
I still can't take out these coughings in one hit. It's a sad day. And finally, Pidge gets poisoned. Well, whatever. We already achieved our goal, so I really don't mind that much. After all, I just wanted it to become a Pidgeot. Um, let's see. Go with Skull Kraken, I guess. I'm sure I can throw out Lay of Doom and see if it gets lucky and gets another freezing, but... That's pretty unusual to get two of those in a row, you know? Um, trash. Well, thrash, sorry. Well, I'm done with it, it's going to be in the trash. Oh, damn. Self-destruct right off the bat? I was not expecting that. Usually, you know, they go at least a turn or two before they do that. That was just crazy. <sighs> that wasn't too far off from the time, either. <sighs> Still probably gonna take me about a minute to get out of this gosh darn warehouse. Especially since we have to listen to this guy give me a speech. He's gonna speechify us. About the dangers of Team Rocket. And plead for our help. Like, just give me the key, man. Seriously. Thank you. But now I have to tell you about the potential dangers of Team Rocket having control of my radio tower. Yeah, yeah, no telling what they'll do. Blah, 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 Done. Okay. What? I can't really channel, um, the sound I'd have to make in order to sound like, you know, the adults from Charlie Brown, you know? The Peanuts. Smells as I've even seen one of those um, clips. So I can't remember exactly how it goes anyway. Besides being kind of annoying in large doses. Since it doesn't sound like anything but noise. Well, I'll do it for this episode. Next time we return to the radio tower in order to finish the job. Until then, see ya.